comic that I picked up on August 18th is the Marvel Universe vs. The Punisher issue 2 from Marvel Comics. Now this is a very nice cover of the Punisher going up against the Hulk with just a bow and arrow, which is how he kills him in the first couple of pages. Unfortunately, like the first issue, you don't really see him get into the grittiness of fighting these other infected heroes. You just get to see the last few punch throws and then it's over, Punisher wins. And also like the first issue, there's a, quite a bit of talk about what life was like right before and at the beginning of this horribleness has started. So, it's an alright issue. The first issue I think was probably better because it actually gives you all the backstory, or all the backstory you possibly need. Uh, this says pretty much almost like the first one. There's just so much more that they could be doing with this, but this is this issue two of, I think, a yeah, four issue series, which is short, sadly. I like to see this go up to 13, show some more of those awesome fights, which they're not showing so far. Um, but as you see in the preview pages, apparently the Punisher's not the only uninfected person around. And also, if you haven't known, guessed of who Patient Zero was in the first issue, which I sort of thought was this guy, then I thought, eh, maybe it's not him, but it turns out that it, it was him. They revealed it on the last page, and if you don't want to pick it up, you can just take a look at the cover of issue 3, it'll have him on it versus the Punisher. So, it looks like that this series is all about Punisher versus Patient Zero. Because there's that's not really much else to, but it's a fascinating universe. I would like to go more into it like, like the zombie universe, but there does not. So, it was good. I like it. Could have been better. Don't, it was equally or almost as good as the first one. Two more issues to go. I think I like it. That's all I have to say for right now.